Pico Neo 4, the new generation of VR glasses. At a hybrid event in Berlin last Thursday, September 22nd, Pico unveiled their new newest VR headsets, the Pico 4 and the Pico 4 Pro. In addition, the event featured new software, including an upgraded operating system, launch titles, apps and integrations, and more, and completely revamped headsets and controllers. Welcome back to MetaHub. In today's video, we will discuss these latest VR headsets and how they differ from traditional ones. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel to never miss out on more videos like this. Let's look at it. The Pico 4 VR headsets with a 90Hz refresh rate and a 4K screen have been launched in China. The most recent virtual reality headsets are remarkably light and thin. Without a strap or batteries, the Pico 4 weighs roughly 295 grams, considerably less than some of the more popular devices available now. The balancing design of the Pico 4 line of VR headsets lessens the pressure on the user's face while wearing the equipment. The gadget has two 2.5-inch screens and is powered by the Snapdragon XR2 platform. The screens have a maximum pixel density of 1200 and allow binocular resolution of up to 4K. The newest generation of VR headsets have an optical resolution of 85.7% and a pancake optical path architecture. The Pico 4 and Neo 3 complement each other well in several ways. With support for stepless electric interpopularity system distance adjustment, it boasts a maximum field of vision of 105 degrees. A 16 megapixel RGB camera on the Pico 4 offers a more beautiful view on the outside world. The fuselage has four environment tracking cameras that are high resolution. The device has a linear motor motor with a 50 to 500 hertz bandwidth and a hypersense vibration handle. The Pico 4's headset backstrap contains a 5300 mAh battery that powers the device for up to 3 hours. In addition, the Pico OS 5.0 operating system that powers the gadget has several outstanding features and a wide range of VR applications. Design and Comfort With a front weight of 295 grams as opposed to 395 grams, the Pico 4 is significantly lighter than the Pico Neo 3 Link. The new pancake lenses ability to have a substantially thinner and lighter form factor was a feat of engineering. In addition, with 295 grams, Pico has significantly improved making the weight of the front of the device less obvious and more comfortable, which has historically been a problem with VR headsets employing Fresnel lenses. By enhancing the tried and true battery on the back of the headband, the Pico 4 further increases comfort. It features an extraordinarily even weight distribution because the battery is located at the rear of the headband, and by extension, the back of the gadget. Like its prior headsets, Pico continues to use a three-part headband and a fit wheel to provide simple centimeter level adjustments for a secure fit. Although the velcro covered top of the headband is optional and simple to remove, it can provide some users with great stability. Sound. The built-in speakers of the virtual reality HMDs typically leave much to be desired, however, they will work in a pinch if you or your Bluetooth headphones are lost. The Pico 4's built-in speakers are comparable in this regard. A good set of Bluetooth headphones is difficult to beat and is advised for a Pico 4 even though they are punchier, have fuller bass, and exhibit less distortion at greater volumes than Quest 2. Display of the Pico 4 Pico claims the Pico 4 has the greatest display yet. The alleged 4K Super Display has 35% better visibility than 4K. A resolution of 2160 by 2160 pixels is offered by the Pico 4. The quality of the content in the headset is even greater than the Pico Neo 3 Link because of the device's additional 1200 pixels per inch. The Pico 4's ultra-wide 105 degree field of view is one of its outstanding features. The headset has roughly 33% more pixels and a 45% larger battery than the MetaQuest 2. However, the field of vision is comparable. In contrast to Meta's headset, the lens distance can be altered continuously. Sadly, it is not made clear which distances are accepted. Although the Quest 2 can give 120Hz, we didn't find a deal breaker as the Pico 4 has a refresh rate of 90Hz. For most of the apps we utilized, 90Hz was more than enough. Power and Performance of the Pico 4 the industry-leading Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 processor powers the Pico 4. The XR2 is robust and eco-friendly. It is also a chip specifically designed for XR headsets. The Pico 4 receives enough processing power to run from the XR2 to run immersive quality versions of games like I Expect You to Die 2 and Half-Life Alex on the headset. The Pico 4's RAM capacity is one area where there has been a noticeable improvement. Quest 2 and Neo 3 Link have 6GB, whereas Pico 4 has 8GB. As a result, the Pico 4 can run more apps simultaneously than the other two headsets, and heavier applications will run more smoothly. 
What did President Henry Zhao say? Henry Zhao, the CEO of Pico, spoke to an in-person and online audience to reveal the eagerly anticipated headset, which many believe might anticipate pan contention between Pico and Meta. However, the address emphasized accessibility rather than rivalry. Our products have become key participants in the VR industry over the years. Since we think VR is for everyone, we're approved to move forward and open VR to more people, added Zhao. The Pico 4 puts no pressure on your head and is as light as a drink can. With six DOF touch-sensitive controllers, the headset was announced to have a 105 diagonal FOV, an increase of approximately 20 degrees over the Neo 3 and Quest 2 models. Leland Hedges, the general manager of Pico's Europe, Middle East, and Asia division, provided more details. Some more information by Leland Hedges. According to Hedges, the Pico 4 was created to have one of the thinnest and lightest form factors of any contemporary standalone 6DOF head mount and display. The main unit weighs only 295 grams without the straps and batteries. A little more than half a pound is 295 grams. The battery can contribute significantly to the weight. Thus, it's a little odd that they have listed the weight without it. That's especially intriguing because Leland later referred to the battery as the biggest battery in the headset category and touted its quick charging capabilities. Nevertheless, the headset is smaller than any of the other 6DOF headsets we've seen so far, thanks to pancake optics and counterweight construction. Only the Vive Flow, a 3DOF headset focused on wellness and far less power, challenges the form factor. Hedges specified a 1200 ppi resolution and 90Hz refresh rate, putting weight and appearance aside. Hedges additionally unveiled the revamped Pico 4 controllers. The tracking ring coils around the grip to avoid collisions between controllers when both hands are in close proximity. Hedges also described an impressive sounding haptic technology. Price points for the Pico 4 Pro. Hedges also demonstrated some extra Pico 4 features that won't require users to provide personal identified information to log in. In addition, the headset's internal infrared cameras automatically enable IPD correction and face tracking for more expressive avatars. Hedges stated, now that your avatar is fully lifelike, you can express yourself freely in the virtual world. Hedges also discussed a developer incentive scheme, but committed that additional information will be shared at Pico's announcement at AWE Europe the following month. The Neo 4 Pro was not given a price, while the normal Pico 4 had a $415 quoted price, therefore only $15 more than the Quest 2. Unfortunately, the pricing was obtained via a currency converter. Pico has once more decided against bringing consumer assistance to the United States. Although this headset has been pre-orderable in Europe since last Friday, there is still no official launch date for it in other regions. One more thing is worth mentioning, the Pico Neo 3 was Pico's most recent headphone. Pico has a 3DOF line known as the Goblin, or simply the G line, in addition to the 6DOF Neo line. Taking out Neo implies that Pico is putting all the chips on SDOF. And while shouldn't they cram such tough specifications into a portable, reasonably priced headset? Zhao said, We think VR is the next great wave of innovation. It will affect billions of people's lives and alter how we interact with the world. In conclusion, the recently released Pico 4 is prepared to succeed the formerly unbeatable MetaQuest 2. What do you think about the new generation of VR glasses? Let us know in the comments down below.